Alright, what's going on guys? So I'm gonna go ahead and go over a few foot strengthening exercises that I do with the athletes to start them off to increase their base of support. When you do not have a strong foundation or a support system, you cannot produce force, you cannot produce high dynamic movements because you're not stable. So we wanna make sure that we're increasing the intrinsic muscles of the feet, the strength there, and the mobility, and the, just the range of motion and fluidity as you go to move in dynamic fashion. So first one we're gonna do is something called short foot so we're gonna grab the ground screw the feet in and create a higher arch or just strengthening up the midfoot so that again we have stability and we have the ability to produce force you're just gonna stand still feet are shoulder width apart then from there I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab the ground with my toes I'm not gonna crunch my toes but I'm gonna splay them out so big toe and little toe pressure then from there I'm gonna externally rotate and lift my feet up so what that means is I'm gonna lift the midfoot up and create an arch so I'm actually going to screw my feet into the ground and then grab the ground creating that stiffness and tightness there in the midfoot then i'm going to relax shake it out we do it again you can hold for about five to ten seconds usually doing about three to five sets total again big toe pressure screw the feet into the ground and lift the arch right so you're going to act like you're grabbing sand and externally rotating or trying to break apart a piece of paper in between your feet squeeze hold 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 lifting the arch and then relaxing. You should feel a cramp inside of your midfoot. All right, the next one we're gonna do is we're gonna do our base support prep, but with this one, we're gonna work into an extended hip and then also bent knees. So we still wanna activate the gastroc, the soleus muscles, the muscles that cross the joint, but also we wanna strengthen up the midfoot and the forefoot. As you go to step, we're still strengthening up, we're still stabilizing our movement as we go to go forward. I'm gonna start off in heels only, I'm gonna drive through. When you go to step, you're gonna want to go ahead and go into plantar flexion. We're gonna maintain dorsiflexion. So that means basically driving the foot up into the shin. And then from there, I'm just gonna step and maintain my position. So we went straight leg, now we're gonna go bent leg. Same thing on the heels, right? You're gonna step, hold position. Making sure the feet don't collapse, they don't flare out. Again, we're strengthening up all these muscles here, peroneals, right, anterior tibialis, all of that. And we're gonna maintain position of the foot as we go to step. Now we're gonna walk inverted. So we're gonna go ahead and walk on the edges of the feet. And you should feel muscles on the top part of your foot, strengthening and holding, good position. Okay, now we're gonna evert, going outside, outside. Now we're gonna go ahead and do a backpedal step. And when we go to backpedal, we're gonna maintain our foot position, try to keep the heel off of the ground. You're gonna go ahead and load the hip. We're gonna dorsiflex the leg that we're stepping back with. Then we're gonna load into that position. When you load into the position, we wanna get a good stretch here on the calf, on the soleus, the gastroc. We're gonna get a good stretch on the ankle, so we're gonna gain that dorsiflexion with that passive stretch here. And then we're gonna drive the knee over the toe as far as we can. As we go to step, we're gonna maintain that heel off the ground, then hold, then you can drop, switch, load the hip, dorsiflexion, get that stretch, hold position, big toe into the ground, hold, and then drop down. Big toe pressure, load, hold position, grab the ground, let the heel stay off the ground until you get back to square. And we go back the other way, high, Drive it up, toes into the shin, big toe pressure, knee over the toes, load the quad here, hold position, stay heels off the ground, and then sit. So now we're gonna go heel toe walk, and all we're doing here is going from the heel to the big toe, driving up from dorsiflexion to plantar flexion, going for distance here. So flexion, and drive up, hold, back down, heel down first, drive up, hold, back down. You wanna do these with bare feet so that you can grab the ground and actually feel you know, your foot on the ground, pushing into the ground with the toes, splaying the toes out and working the toes the way they need to be to maintain balance, to maintain coordination and also strengthening up the feet itself. So we're gonna go ahead and do plantar flexion or toe walk. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slightly internally rotate my femurs. I'm gonna drive my big toes into the ground and I'm gonna stay with a high heel here Walking, again, pushing the big toe into the ground, maintaining that heel position upward, making sure I don't collapse, right? 
staying up, staying up, staying strong, all the way through, all the way through. All right, so the last one we got is a basic towel crunch or toe curl or whatever you want to call it. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to take a towel. It can be a shirt. It can be anything that you're going to crunch up, but you want to have a hardwood surface so that it slides easily. And you're just going to basically put your foot down and then curl your toes in, pulling the towel as much as possible. You can do about 10 repetitions here all the way in and then expand it back out. Again, three to five sets of that too as well. If you don't have a towel, if you don't have a hardwood floor, you can do a marble pickup where you pick the marble up and put it into a bucket or a bowl of some sort. So there you have it. Foot strengthening exercises that you can do. I would do this every other day, maybe even every day. You know, you don't have to do as many sets, but two, three sets through to increase the strength of your feet. Also, get solid shoe wear. Make sure you check out Vivo Barefoot with a wide toe box. Minimalistic, right? Flat here, so if you're gonna walk out Outside, you can still get stronger. You can still increase the strength of the feet with those shoes. Check out VivoBarefoot.com, Daru15 at your checkout to get a discount. If you want to use this and understand my methodology, check out my mentorship program. It's a three-month course. You get access and understanding to all my protocols, my methods, and my systems of training. So check it out. Link is down below. Subscribe, hit the notification, hit the like button. I'll see you again next time. Peace.